The financial law firm Marson and Lormont were just doing the legwork for a big homegrown multinational. They sent their best corporate attorney, Kate Walker, to Europe to negotiate the takeover of the Foralberg Automaton and Mechanical Toy Factory. Kate slinked into the village of Aladilen, deep in the French Alps. She reckoned on 48 hours to close the deal. But then, nobody had reckoned on there being an heir. Hans Foralberg, a mysterious character, had disappeared years earlier. Kate had to find him. Without his signature, the deal was off. She checked out the abandoned factory and met the latest generation of automaton. He called himself Oscar and claimed to be the engineer of the crazy locomotive in the station. So Kate decided to hop on, hoping the train and its wheelman could take her to their maker, Hans Forelberg. Ignoring the warnings of her friends and the threats of her boss, she takes off on a bizarre journey rolling from station to station further and further towards the east. On the trail of Hans Vorlberg's past, Kate's route is littered with his crazy inventions and the recollections of people who had come across the little madcap guy. She finds out that he was a creative genius. Piece by piece, she put together the puzzle of Hans's life and discovered the reason for his flight northwards through the Russian interior towards the myth of the last surviving mammoths. West to east across Europe, Traveling along the battle scars of the 20th century, Kate finally collars her man, Hans Vorlberg. Time, though, had caught up with him first. He is old and tired, yet his wildest dreams shine on. Apparently, Kate Walker has bid farewell to her old life and decided to follow Hans Vorlberg to the end of his personal rainbow, right to the legendary island of Siberia. Welcome to my let's play of Siberia 2. Uh, I have played uh, Siberia 1 as well. I'll link that in the comments. Um, yeah, Siberia 2 is actually the first one I played at the time when I bought it. I wasn't aware that it was a direct sequel to Siberia 1. Um, so I played this one and I enjoyed it. So. Um, uh, also at the time I didn't know where to get Siberia 1 uh, then I found that I played it I actually really like uh, the first one better than the second one I don't know it's got a slightly nicer atmosphere um, the second one um, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, when the first one, you visit all these like quaint little places with people in them and and stuff. The second one is a lot uh, less so. It, it seems a lot more hostile and less nice in general. But, um, Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll just get started. <laughs> Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island. An island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The isle is covered in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans, you must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. She's not replying to her messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again!
Hello? Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I... Give me that. Kate? Come on now, pet, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know, the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! I promise, Hans Varlberg. We're going to Siberia. Right, Siberia too. Just arrived uh, in some place. Um, as usual, I won't. I will try not to talk during any um, cutscenes, so that you can watch them as they are. Hans's cylinder machine. Something else he slapped together since we came on board. As we know, that's not really true. It's something we actually put on board. Small continuity errors are a bit annoying, I guess. Hmm, Hans's mammoth doll. I hope um, the third game won't have many problems with that. Let's talk to Hans, tinkering. Hi. Hello there, Kate Walker. You know what? I'm so happy to be here, to follow you in pursuit of your dreams. My dreams are now your dreams, Kate Walker. Indeed they are. Uh... When are we leaving again? I want to leave as quickly as possible, but it's Oscar who decides. He's the master of the train. Of course he is. I don't mean to get personal, but don't you think that this journey is going to be a bit tough for a man your age? I am going to Siberia, Kate Walker. End of discussion. You do understand. Uh, Hans, where are we? Somewhere on the way to Siberia. Is it still far? Pretty much. <sighs> Nobody's ever seen this island. No explorers ever talked about it. And, well, it's not on any map, Hans. I know Siberia exists, Kate Walker. All right. Do you think that the train can go much further? There's more and more snow, and the cold is biting. I designed and built it, Kate. You did remember to wind it. No, not yet. Then get it wound, and let's be off. If only it was that simple. So, how do we wind the train here? There's a train winder at the head of the platform. Ask Oscar, he'll show you. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. One improvement I do like in this uh, sequel is that the dialogue options disappear if you have nothing else to say about the subject. Um, it it's a simple thing, but it's, it makes it a bit easier to just keep track of things. Hello? Kate Walker? This is Oscar calling, your driver. Oscar? You're using a telephone? Mr. Foroberg has in effect jerry-rigged me something very approximative, inspired by your own miniature device. Mr. Foroberg is such a repository of knowledge. I am calling to inform you that we have arrived at the station, Kate Walker. Great. Which station's that? The station is located in the town of Romansburg, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm gonna go snoop around. Do be careful, Kate Walker. Always am, Oscar. Of course. I'll never get into trouble. Let's have a look outside. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, 
dropped his keys. Welcome to Romansburg, the last town before the vast wild glacial wastes of the tundra. Retired Colonel Emilioff Lupachev, guardian of the Imperial Marches and a general store manager at your service, miss. How may I? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the frontier town of Romansburg, oh, gateway to the tundra, the last town use. before the vast plains of the I frozen might as well wastes. Be a Hmm, what a welcome. What a Disneyland welcome. Right, uh, general store. Let's go find the uh, Oscar first. There he is. That's the train winding device. What a strange town. What do you make of it, Oscar? Trains should never have to stop. I simply don't like stations, Kate Walker, nor the towns around them. That's a little bit of a generalization. The whole town is lugubrious, and I don't like these houses underneath the rails. To me, they spell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. We have to be very careful. Uh-huh, still the same old scaredy cat. I cannot change my design, Kate Walker. It's a bit of a flaw for a train engineer to not like train stations, I think. Sometimes I say to myself I should just go back to New York. Do you miss it, Kate Walker? I don't know. I don't think you will ever return home, Kate Walker. It is too late now. Oscar, how come you're programmed for psychology all of a sudden? Indeed, how... Oh. Hans isn't looking so great, don't you think? While his passion is strong, his wheelwork is worn, Kate Walker. Yeah, I guess so. Sometimes I say to myself that it's all just a figment of my imagination. That Siberia is just a pie in the sky. You ask yourself the strangest questions, Kate Walker. I am particularly piqued that you question my reality for an instant. Even more so that you question that of Mr. Forelberg. I'm sorry, Oscar. That was dumb of me. Do you think that we're any nearer to our goal, Oscar? It is getting colder. That much is certain. Personally, I have no particular goal, Kate Walker. But the train and myself have not been designed to function forever. I would be grateful if you could talk about this matter with Mr. Forelberg, at him alone, if you please. All right. What do you think about this stuff about mammoths, Oscar? Kate Walker, my place is not to pass comment on human dreams and utopia. My place is here in my place. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes I wonder. We can talk more about mission. At the end of our journey, we're going to find Siberia, aren't we, Oscar? Kate Walker, please, I... I have not been designed to ask such questions. I am an automaton. I know, Oscar. I get the picture. Especially if you ask questions that really nobody can answer for you. Not even a human. Oscar, is your train in a fit state to carry on with the journey? What are you suggesting, Kate Walker? <laughs> I take the greatest care of it. Yes, I know, Oscar. But I was just thinking that with this rude climate... It is designed to resist just such conditions, Kate Walker. You simply have to wind it up. And you weren't thinking by any chance of taking charge of that yourself? My wheelwork is complex and fragile. It is poorly adjusted for the rigors of winter, Kate Walker. Now there's a surprise. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. All right, now that we're done insulting our robot friends, I guess we can wind up the train ourselves. Easy enough. A little too easy. Always clean up after yourself, even when it's not necessary. Hey, 
Presumably we can leave now. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. Oscar, do you think Mr. Volleberg is well enough to answer my questions? Better than me, anyway, Kate Walker. <laughs> I guess you're right. Right, train is That's in. it, Oscar. I've wound the train up. Now we can leave. That's impossible, Kate Walker. Why, Oscar? Soon we shall be confronting extremely cold temperatures, Kate Walker. We shall need coal to keep ourselves warm. <sighs> this time you're not wrong, Oscar. It is a bit nippy. As soon as you have filled the coal car, we can set out again, Kate Walker. I'll see what I can do. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. Sounds simple enough, once again. Uh, this is where we get the coal from. But... Not right with this machine. There sure isn't. Let's go talk to um, the general manager. Let's go to the manager of the general store. He needs to clean up his store a bit. Maybe dust. Let's ask him about the coal machine. Um, good day to you, sir. My name is Kate Walker. I... Oh, you're American, aren't you? An American in a hole like this. Don't see that every day. Well, I am Colonel Emilioff. I am, in my capacity, in charge of the administration of this jurisdiction. Okay. My name is Kate. We just arrived by train. What an intriguing town. I'm impatient to visit it, Colonel. There's not really much to see. There's this and that. But really, there's just white. Infinite white. Like a desert blurring into the sky. Nothing but white till you reach the furthermost tip of the frozen Russian hinterland. Welcome to the last bastion of civilization, ma'am. Colonel, my train needs coal to continue my journey. Do you know where I can find some? There's a dispenser outside. Feel free to fill her up, Miss Walker. Courtesy of the state. But it doesn't work. And how do I operate this uh, machinery? Just pull the handle and the coal drops down all by itself. Automatic, see? Totally automatic. I tried that. That coal machine doesn't seem to want to work. Ah. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to wait. Wait? How long? Oh, a week. Maybe two. Maintenance doesn't come calling too often. Right, I'm sure we have two weeks to just sit around here. My friend who's with me came by here once. His name's Hans Varlberg. You don't know him, do you? I haven't been here for long. So no, you don't. We're going to keep on going, pushing northeast. A great journey to an improbable place. I actually think I'm just keeping an old man company in pursuit of his final dream. Ah, people like you, Miss Walker, end up never going home. You're the second person to say that within the first five minutes. Tell me, Colonel, are there a lot of trains that pass through here? Not really. But then, I've not been here for long. There aren't any other travelers just passing through here? Passing through to where, Miss Walker? After this stop, there's nowhere left to go. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Oh, he's a cheerful fellow. Right, so now we have to go outside again. The problem is that to 
fix the machine we have to go downstairs but there's a gate and the gate is locked of course Wouldn't nothing I can do it's locked the riffraff to just come to the train station Safkin, he doesn't have the key he dropped it he dropped it Colonel Emilyov. Ah, Miss Walker. Colonel, you can't repair it, can you? I really need coal, you know? No, sorry. All that mechanical gubbins, motors, engines, not my thing. That's a maintenance job for a maintenance man. Colonel, would you have the key to the gate? Ah, uh, no. Not anymore. Must have lost it earlier, when I was wasting my time on that dang music machine. Who can say? I can. Hey, I it isn't it. my fault. You being here has upset my usual timetable and general routine. If you hadn't been here, I wouldn't have gone out. And then I wouldn't have lost the key. Very true. It's all my fault. So, you haven't got the key, then? Sorry to say. If I had it, I'd give it to you. A gate's made for opening, after all. And, of course, there's no double. Ah, got to wait for maintenance to make their call, Miss Walker. In a week or two. Some might say a gate was made for closing. But... Tell me, Colonel, why is there a gate blocking off the staircase leading to the lower part of the town? Low down is low down, and high up is high up. People who are low down got different points of view from those who are high up. Different kettle, different fish. If you get my meaning, Miss Walker. Yes, segregation. How do I get down there, then? Oh, not the most advisable of moves. All the undesirables on the plateau wash up in our little town sometime. And I'd rather any lowlife stay down low. I don't think I understand, Colonel. I'm just a soldier, Miss Walker. Carrying out a soldier's orders. A soldier manning a general store who's unable to fix a machine. A useless... We're going to Siberia. An island far across the Russian continent. It's one long journey. We're going to need plenty of material. What do you think? Siberia Island? Never heard of it. I'm in no position to advise you, I'm afraid. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. He reminds me a little bit of the station master in Barokstadt, except less pleasant it's a bit gloomy maybe winter depression let's go to find a key hi my name is kate walker hi my name is malka Haha, <laughs> we found a child to help us on our mission. As we know, that's Kate's specialty. I'm Kate Walker. And you? Uh, you are Malka who? Malka. Just Malka. Do you know who's got the key to the gate? If you give me a present, I'll tell you, Kate Walker. I'd love to, but you're down there and I'm up here. Well... You'll just have to find a present that comes from up there. This child knows what she's doing. She's not letting Kate walk all over her. Tell me right now what you want. It'll be much easier. I really want katalas, Kate Walker. They've got some in the shop. Katalas? What's that? Katalas. That's what they are. Candies. You don't know them? They're great. I'm sure they are. Do you know how that machine over there works? No, Kate Walker. Maybe you've seen other people use it. 
Yes, when the trains stop. But as they aren't stopping... So no. Why is there a gate that stops us going any lower? It's not a gate that stops you going down. It stops people going up. Hmm. I see. The old colonel says that people down here are all low life. Do you want to look around the train? Are you going to take me away with you on a journey? No. I can't do that, Malka. You know why. In that case, I don't want to see your train. I mm. understand, Malka. Let's not talk about it again. I'm going. I'll go see what I can do. I'll wait for you down below, Kate Walker. Nothing creepy about that conversation. Right, let's uh, get some candies. For the child. She's smarter than Momo. Candy machines. Yes. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, we don't have any money. Oh. Let's see if we can find something lying around here. I'm sure the colonel doesn't mind me stealing stuff. Nah. Nothing I no money? No. Right. Coins. I don't know. Does it say anywhere? It doesn't. I'll just put some coins in. It's not the right one. This one, maybe? Nope. Swedish? Danish? Whatever that is. I obviously have no idea what kind of money they use. Aha. Get my money back. I'm effectively stealing from the shop. Is it Swedish? They all accept different money? I guess all this money came out of one machine, so... Mmm, oh, tasty. Got fish candy and sugar candy. I'm assuming she prefers uh, sugar over fish. Let's throw her some sugar candies. Come see my train, here's some candy. You've only got one chance. It would have really sucked if we didn't manage to catch that one.
Off we go, visit that pleasant looking little village. Uh, to be honest, looking at it, I, I always thought that even the factory in Siberia 1 looked more inviting than this place. I guess that's sort of the point. They made it look Kate good. Walker is in trouble. We've got to go look for her. Find someone. I don't know who. Someone spunky. Yes, sir. We've got Nick Canton, a detective. He's already worked on some tricky problems. He was good. Yeah. He might just be the ticket. Take care of it right now, John. Get him out there. Right, sir. Hell, what is going through that kid's head? Yeah. Hello, Canton. We've got a job for you, uh... How shall I put it? A special job. 